What's good, YouTube? Uh, Professor Snap here. I just wanted to make a video. Real, real sick. I'm gonna put on this and. Tracy McGrady was uh, one of my favorite players in the last few years. Um, I really fell in love with him with the um, when he was at the Rockets with Yao Ming and um, that whole 13 points in 30 second game, like you know all that. Um, you know I was a big T Mac fan, and then you know now I'm like a Magic fan, like uh, that's my bandwagon team. I've said that before. So when I found this, you know I just thought it was so sick. Um, Nike. Magic number one, um, Tracy McGrady in the back, or McGrady in the back, so sick, real nice find, real happy about that, so, you know, that's a good find. Um, next is, I got two baseball jerseys, um, baseball jerseys I think are so sick, just, you know, they wore them a lot in the 90s too, so, you know, it kind of like brings back the 90s flavor, but they look sick, and I kind of like adding like a hood to it, and then, like, just the sleeves, like, I don't know, it looks pretty sick, I think, so. That's kind of like what I've been on lately. Um, I got this pretty cool, it just says Eagles 12, um, Wilson on the side, on the sleeve, and then the back is just the number 12. So yeah, pretty sick. Um, the next one is a really cool Giants. Look at this, real sick Giants. Um, um, I was so happy about this. Um, large, it's a starter. Um, you know, I don't really care for brands, but I mean, you know, it's still cool when I find starter stuff. Um, but yeah, this thing is real nice. And I'm a Giants fan too. It'll go well with this with this hat right here. You know, um, I'm a Giants fan by association. I don't really watch baseball. But, you know, being from San Francisco, the Giants, you know, be my team. So, real sick find. Um, it's like brand new. I don't see anything wrong with it. Colors are nice. Alright, next is a crew neck. Um, this will be for sale. Um, do not ask about it now. I'm just going to get my website up by next week, um, sometime next week, and I'll make a vid on that. So this will be for sale, so if you want it, keep your eye on this. Um, real cool Utah Jazz, National Basketball Association, the purple and the teal, you know, if you're tired of rocking the Hornets, size medium. So yeah, this will be for sale. Not right now, though. PM me later. Um, nothing on the back. All right, next is this real sick Adidas pullover. So sick. Look at this. Um, I don't know. I just cannot pass this up at all. Um, you know, I was debating, you know, because the pullover, I don't know. I mean, it's not vintage. I'm pretty sure this is, you know, pretty new, but still real sick. And then right here in the back, it says Adidas and National Basketball Association. It's got the bull with the Windy City, the new Attitude Edition. So, and it's real clean, too. It's super clean. That's the only reason I got it is because it was super clean. Um, and then it looks real sick in the front. I'm actually thinking about cutting the sleeves off. I think that might be dope. Here, I'll let you guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, just something fresh, something new. Kind of like a, you know, pullover, um, no sleeves. Just imagine it. I think it would look cool. But I don't want to ruin it, so. Alright, next, this will be for sale too. Yes, it looks like a normal jean jacket, but look at this. It's a... Tommy Hilfiger jean jacket. Um, when I saw this, I couldn't really pass it up. Um, size medium doesn't really fit me too much. I mean, the length is like a small, but that's just how you know the jean jackets fit. So, but this is a size medium. This will be for sale. Um, you can PM me now if you want this. Um, it's got red collars, real clean. Got the Hilfiger symbol right here, like a green um, hole right there. Like nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine. Um, if you want this. It's going to be um, uh, 30, 30 shipped. Um, so yeah, if you want this $30 ship, um, real clean price, especially since shipping is going to be, you know, $11 at least um, since it's so heavy. So if you want that, go ahead and PM me, size medium again. Um, this is the back. Um, that's just supposed to be like that. So yeah, I figured, you know, it's got the things right here. So PM me if you want that. Um, this is also for sale, PM me. Um, only PM me if you're ready to buy. Um, please don't give me any of that. Um, I'll pay tomorrow crap or something like that. Like, um, it's just too hard for me to keep track of everyone, so I'm not gonna hold it. There's no point in asking today if you can buy it tomorrow, because I don't hold anything because of flakers and this just from experience. But um, anyways, Steelers. Um, I hate the Steelers. I freaking hate the Steelers so bad. 
But um, I could not pass this up. I know somebody would want this. Size a large starter. Um, real clean. There's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, the zip on the side. Starter on the sleeve. The best part about it is the back. Um, this back is so sick. The Woodson in the back. Black and yellow. Um, you know, for you Wiz fans or whatever. Um, so Woodson 26. It's super clean. I'm telling you guys. Um, so yeah, if you want this, PM me for this. We're going to go 30 for this one too. 30 ship. $30 free shipping. I don't know if some people know what ship means. But ship just means free shipping. Like, that's all you pay. $30 even. So hit me up if you want that. Alright, this next jacket is so clean. I know you guys might have seen this in my trip to the thrift. I had to go back and get this. This is, you know what I mean? It's too sick. Like, the Red Wings right here. It's clean. Um, the Red Wings is, you know, it's not um, wrinkled. The colors are not faded. The best part is the back side. Look at the back side. Sick red, giant uh, Red Wings right here. Detroit right here. Red Wings right here. Yo, this thing is real sick. So this is for sale too. You can PM me about this one right now if you want to. We're going to go 40 shipped on this one. Um, you know, I paid, you know, a little more dip or a little deeper. So $40 shipped on this. Um, PM me if you want it. Please only PM me if you're ready. Sorry, I know I'm going fast. It's just I have a lot to get through. And um, I'm, I'm planning on having a little mini rant because I know it's needed. Now, the last thing is so sick. Now, I'm this isn't for sale, really. Um, if you really want it, I mean, I'll sell it for $80. Um, 80 bucks shipped if you want this. But that's it's that high of a price because I'm really not looking to sell it. So, I mean, if you really want it, if you're willing to pay 80 bucks shipped for it, then, you know, go ahead and PM me and I will sell this to you. But if you're not, then I'm not going to sell it to you because I'm actually really happy about this. It is a Chicago Bears starter jacket. Size large. Authentic pro line by starter. Um, size large. The NFL patch on the side. The starter on the, you know, this is so clean. Just, you know what I mean? Chicago. The Chicago thing. And then the back. Chicago Bears. Best part. Look at this. Starter. Um, I love these satin jackets. I've said this a billion times in my videos. I just think these satin jackets are so sick. Um, I've actually been rocking these before snapbacks. Um, before, like, I started wearing, like, snapback hats or anything, I've been wearing these satin jackets for, a, like, a pretty long time. And I'm not trying to say that to sound cool or anything. I'm just being dead honest. So, yeah. I mean, if you want this, it's going to be 80 bucks. But um, if not, if you're not going to pay $80, then I'm going to keep this because this thing is fresh. And you guys know how much this goes for. These things go for like $150, $200 online. So yeah, real nice find. Um, next is this. Um, you know, I the last Brimming um, strap I had sold pretty fast. So, you know, I'm going to try it again. Um, this is uh, an American flag brim with a blue underbrim. Pretty cool. This one comes with a, a blue snap and a blue button. So hit me up with that. Um, $7 ship this time. Um, because the $5 I barely broke even. So yeah, we're going to go 7 shipped on this. Um, hit me up if you want that. PayPal, please only hit me up if you're ready. Alright, now for the hats. I've got these hats and then 6 hats under here. I'll get to these and I'll tell you why they're under there. But, you know, real quick. We'll go. We'll try and go fast. But um, First is this Starter Athletics Black and Yellow Strap Back. Starter in the back. I just... You know, thought it was so clean, you know what I mean? Like, strap back, just, you know, starter. Why not? And I think it's pretty cool. So, once I clean that up and everything, it'll look sick. Um, next is this Big A Auto Parts Racing. Um, real clean. Like, look how clean it is. The form is perfect. The form is really nice. It fits, cool, like, really cool. Um, 96 on the side. You know, it's a really cool hat. Red snap, you know, white and red. Really good colorway. No green underbrim, but, you know, sometimes I don't like green underbrim, so I just feel like green underbrims throw off the color scheme of hats sometimes. But then, you know, then again, I do like it because it's just part of the era. It's part of the, you know, it's just part of the history. Um, so, yeah, and then next is his blank, like, faded. I don't even know what to call this, but you guys can see it. You know, this in purple, green underbrim. Um, you know, this will be for sale, but I'm going to wait till my website's up till I sell that. 
Um, next is a Baltimore Orioles hat. I haven't really fixed it up yet. I just have the form in it. But, you know, I don't have a, an Orioles hat. So, um, shout out to uh, System Psycho, right? He is from um, Maryland. Yeah, Baltimore, Maryland. I don't know if he's from Baltimore, but, yeah, shout out to him. Real cool uh, videos, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys all know who he is. Um, New York, I like the mesh. Um, this one's kind of more of a trucker, but you know the blue and the um, the blue and the uh, orange is so clean. And I can rock this with that starter um, windbreaker uh, New York Knicks one that I copped. So yeah, New York Mets, real clean, real sick. I like this green underbrim. Um, next is a Seattle Sonics. This was a nice find. Um, I already have a Sonics hat, so I'm gonna wait till my website to sell this one. So don't ask about it right now. Um, so yeah, this one's real sick. Just all forest green, green underbrim, Sonics in the back, um, new with tags or tagged, you know, new with tags made by uh, Twins Enterprise. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Get ready for that one now. These two are um, American Needle reproductions. Um, I specifically bought these for customizations. Um, I've been getting like a lot of people requesting and wanting. Um, to buy hats, you know, customized hats for me. So, I bought these two with the sole um, purpose of customizing them. Now, they come brand new with tags, American Needle. Um, you know, they fit real cool, actually. They fit, like, vintage, and the, the brims are, like, nice and hard. So, I really like the fit of these, but I'm not an L.A. fan or anything. So, here's the deal. Um, you can customize any of these $50 shipped. Now, that is a really good price. You guys already know how much those customized hats for go for. And you can pick your print, okay? I'm telling you right now, $50 ship, you will be able to pick your own print, whatever you want. Like, if you want some zebra on here, I can do that. If you want Navajo print, you can do that. And I will sew it all in, and I will ship it out to you, $50 ship. Again, please do not PM me. Please do not PM me until you are, like, like only serious ready to buy if you're ready to buy and serious I will give you my number and we can talk even quicker and um, you can pick out the fabric you want um, you know even like go online and send me a pic and I will try my best to get as close to that so yes for these two uh, $50 ship your own customized you know brim um, you know and whatever you want so American Needle it will come I'll put the stickers back on and it will come with the tags, brand new with tags. So yes, green, like here, even this, hold on. Like even if you want this, look at this. I've got a green one, you know, it's not really done yet. It would look, it'll look a lot better if I, you know, once I sew it and stuff and put it on. But um, if you wanted like this green one on here with the freaking, you know, zebra tiger print under, I can do that too. $50 ship if you want that. So yeah, hit me up for those. Um, real sick. Now, for these ones, it's time for a little mini rant, okay? I need a, it, I need a little mini rant for this. I'll turn my camera around. Alright, anyways. If you guys watch me, if you guys been watching my vids, you guys know I do not care. I do not care when it comes to fake versus authentic stuff. And, because to me, I am all about style. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it looks the same, then I'm down for it. Um, I mean, if I paid the exact same as an authentic, when I could have gotten an authentic, and it turned out to be fake, you know, then I got a problem. Then I'm mad. Um, you know, but other than that, if I paid a normal price, um, a decent price, and it looks the same as, you know, another one, I do not care, okay? Because it just looks the same. I'm all about style. I don't give into like, hype. I guess I would call it hype. Authenticity is a form of hype because it makes people want to have the authenticity I think mostly because of just social acceptance like people you know look down on fake stuff and so people don't want to wear fake stuff because you know because of what people will say all that stuff and then there are some that you just have to have the authenticity I can understand that if you're a collector um, you know just just cuz you know I can understand some of that but for the most part I don't care okay now, another thing is fake snapback hats. How in the world do you have a fake snapback hat? How do you have a fake hat? 
Okay, this is just a little man, mini rant. I do not believe there's a such thing as a fake hat. I mean, I can put a piece of paper on my head, look, and that's a hat. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's a hat. If you put it on your head, it's a hat, legitimately. Now, you can have a fake branded snapback where you have a fake Mitchell and Ness branded snapback, but a hat is still a hat, you know, and I mean, there's fake auth, um, I guess, authorized, oh shoot, what is it, Often, you know, authentic apparel, it's not auth uh, like authentic of the, the league itself or something like that, and that I can understand too, but for me, I don't care. Now, with that being said, the hats under here are fake, I do know they're fake, but the reason I got them is also for customizations because I have a lot of people hit me up, but I do not want to ruin vintage hats. I do not want to be buying a bunch of vintage hats and just, you know what I mean, like ruining their their essence. And then there's reproductions, so technically these are remakes. Um, I wouldn't really call them fake. You know, some of them are fake, okay? But, um, and then others I would just call, you know, an, an unbranded hat, a non-branded hat. Just as in all my other customizations, when I cut the patch out and put it on another hat, like, it's the same thing here, like, you make your own hat, it's still a hat, okay? So, with that being said, boom, I've got some snapbacks here that, you know, this one, I didn't even order this one, I didn't get this one, um, you know, it's a fake Tisa, see, this, what I call, is what I call a fake branded snapback, because this is not a real Tisa, but you know what, to me, I'm going to keep this, you know why? Because this Tisa is going to be part of my generation. Like when I'm, you know, 10 years from now, we're going to look back and say Tisa or, you know what I mean? And there was all this hype about Tisa and you know what I mean? I'm going to keep this just for nostalgic reasons and you know what I mean? So now I have a fake Tisa hat and really to tell you the truth, I mean, Tisa, come on. Like, look, this is exactly what a Tisa looks like, but they charge just for this little 30 cents of lettering and two cents right here. Because of that, they charge 70 bucks more than the hat is worth. So, I mean, this is not for sale. I'm just going to keep this for nostalgic reasons. Um, it'll be kind of fun. So, yeah. Now, this one. San Jose Sharks. Um, sports Specialties Fake Branded Snapback. Yes, this is a fake branded snapback. You know, I'm, I know of this. You know, Sports Specialties. But, I mean, in the end, it's still a real hat. It's a real hat. I can put this on my head. It looks you know, like a hat, so, I mean, if I got rid of this, if I get rid of this tag, it is no longer, like, a fake snapback, right, I mean, it's just a real hat, just, you know, and it still looks sick, so, and then I got a Mighty Ducks one, this one is a no-branded, there's no brand on this, um, I think it's pretty sick, I'm gonna rock the hell out of this, because I don't care, it still looks sick, um, yeah, Mighty Ducks, Mighty Ducks in the back, Mighty Ducks right here, so, yeah, pretty sick, now, here's another fake branded Mitchell and Ness, Chicago Bulls. Um, you know, it's got the sticker, got the thing on the back. I mean, I'm not really into, I guess I would say, faking someone else's brand and then trying to pass it off as the real thing. I'm not all about that. But, um, you know, if this wasn't here and if it was just a hat, yes, I would buy it, you know. And so, yeah, I paid a pretty, you know... I guess I wouldn't say decent, decent, but, um, you know, whatever. Okay. And then the last two um, are these Mighty Ducks hats. Pretty sick. Um, black and blue. Just no brand. There's no brand at all. Just so, yeah, you know what I mean? Now, that being said, I've got, you know, I'm not going to sell this. This one's not for sale. I figured I'd show it to you. Uh, I'm just going to keep it for nostalgics. Um, this one I kind of like, so I'm actually just going to keep this one. But, now, for these, you know, if you want any of these four, and I'm only going to do it customized. I'm not going to resell them to you how they are, just plain like that, unless you really, really, really want and don't care. If you really want to, then that's fine. But, um, I'm going to do 40 shipped on these ones, okay? $40 ship and you can pick your own brim on these you know what I mean they're gonna look the exact same they're gonna look sick as hell um, and I'm I'm gonna put my own little you know customized brand here and then it will be a brand name snapback in a way I guess if you really want but I mean I can customize any of these for $40 shipped 45 actually 45 ship 
and I will completely, you know, just PM me if you want it, and, you know, it would be real nice, so, you know, thanks guys, that's my little mini rant, that's all my pickups, I mean, all this stuff is authentic, you know what I mean, don't get it twisted, you know, I got this, but I still got authentic stuff, so, yeah, thanks guys, rate, comment, subscribe, peace, thanks a lot.